Hello, Micromunch here. Welcome to my new casa and also a brand new series. A couple of quick things then. Uh, yeah, this is basically my new crib. I'm here on my own. It's only a little one bed flat, so it's nothing spectacular, but actually it's already feeling a bit more like home and this is probably going to be home in the channel for the next god knows how long. I'm doing a FIFA career mode. It's very exciting in the sense that I said I wouldn't do career mode, but I think I was angry at FIFA and it, it was just, yeah, we, we were having a rough time. Uh, in terms of this career mode then, we are with Forest Green Rovers. As you can tell, this is the actual squad they start with, but there's no point us getting really too acquainted with them because frankly, we're not going to be using them for the entire series. We're going to, uh, The first few episodes of this are going to be me quickly simulating through the seasons and getting our youth squad together. As you can see, I have no internet at the moment. That won't be up until next week, I don't think, uh, at time of recording. Uh, so I'm a little bit in the dark, quite literally, about everything. I don't really know what's going on in the outside world. I'm in my own little hut, and uh, it's in some ways it's quite nice. Okay, viewers, so we are at the end of Season 1, and as you can tell, we finished 8th in the league, which is not a bad effort, to be fair to the boys. They did... All right, we just missed out on the playoffs, but to be fair, I'm quite glad. I don't want to get promoted uh, in the first few seasons. I want this to be a proper RTG all the way to the top, so if we can avoid kind of going up uh, in the seasons where we are building the Eve squad, then that makes it all the better, to be fair. Speaking of the youth squad, let's have a look at who we brought in. So we've got quite a few players now over the season. We've done quite well to pick up some very good prospective talents. Uh, I'm going to quickly go through and promote the majority of them, I think. Um, Ollie Hughes is definitely coming up. 80TX to 92 potential, rated at 67 overall, so he's definitely going to be in there for next year. Uh, Joel Phillips, 86 to 94 goalkeeper, very decent. Billy Mason, our other uh, centre mid, that looks very decent. 88 to 94, so he's easily probably the best sort of prospect that we have. Uh, rate at 63 at the moment. He's definitely going in. Uh, Dominic Hill, a little less so. I might not promote him just yet. He's 75 to 81. Ed Turner can come up. He's a striker. Uh, 88 potential. Very good. Uh, I'll promote Barry Taylor just because. Uh, Barry Watson will promote as well. He's the first defender we've had as a right back. Uh, Jay Harris looks pretty decent. Um, over 93 potential. Uh, Reese Price can come up as the CDM. We'll have him, uh, Lance Lee. Let's get in Jay Harris, and we'll also promote Mason Lee as well. So we've got a couple still left in our. Actually, we'll promote Dominic Hill as well because the more players I can kind of get in, the better. I've already set up the scouting for next season already for nine months. Uh, obviously, Ollie Hill is going to stay in England, keep the English talent coming through. Uh, and our Russian scout, uh, Anatoly Seleznev, uh, is going to go to Spain for nine months. Hopefully, they'll find us some good kind of... Uh, I'm hoping technical players will be good. So what I will do now is I will forward on. I shall see you in Season 2. Hello viewers, so we are here for Season 2. As you can tell, we've got the pre-season tournament friendly coming up, and we've actually got a few players into the squad. Uh, we are lacking a little bit, it's safe to say, at the back. We've got Hughes trying to play as a centre-back at the moment, so I need to quickly try and get um, some defenders from somewhere. But we'll have a look at our youth squad in a minute, because I might have to play a couple of games for this year. I want to see them all, and I want to follow their stats and follow how they progress. First thing we're going to do is get ourselves another scout, and potentially, hopefully, a better one than the ones that we have. I'm going to get this boy. I know he's only one star, three star. But I've always found judgment slightly better than anything else. Let's send him to Northern Ireland. It's worth noting as well that I have not trained any of the players. I have not done a single bit of training all the way through this process so far. So the ratings of the players are what they have naturally grown to. And I don't know if that's something I'm going to keep uh, going forward in the series. I may well do. I'm not 100% sure. I'm kind of not making it up as I go along, but I kind of have... I'm being a bit more flexible with it. it. Depends on how well we do. So we didn't do very well in the uh, friendly preseason friendly tournament. That much is for sure. Uh, I'm going to definitely sign Dominic Robinson because he looks like a defender. Definitely going to sign Billy Edwards. Uh, might sign this Ethan Bell boy as well, just so we've got some extra bodies at the back. So I have made a youth squad um, team sheet, but the guys aren't ready. We don't really have enough. Let me look at the back. It's the 51, 49, 59, and 58. It's not quite ready yet. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a few more months of season two um, with the kind of sort of depleted squad that I have, um, see how they get on, and then we'll probably play some fixtures as we go uh, with the youngsters just to test out. Or maybe I just go another full season of simulating and picking up t uh, players, and then we'll do the actual youth squad and it starts properly next year. I think that's probably the best way to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate for the rest of Season 2. We're going to get to a stage where I can have a full youth squad. Then I'm going to sell 
all of the uh, real players, if you will, that we have, and then it's literally from season three onwards, or season three is going to be the start of our youth squad journey. Very, very exciting. I shall see you at the end, I hope. I don't know where else I'm going to go. So we are now at the end of season two. We actually finished fourth in the league, which means that we actually do have uh, the promotion playoffs. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is... Um, I don't know what to do, because part of me wants to play the playoffs and then see how we get on. But then I, I don't want to miss out on a season, a whole season with the team. I want to get used to them before we go to the upper level. So what we're going to do is we're going to simulate them together uh, and see how we get on. So we've got Gillingham in the playoff semi-finals. I really don't want to get promoted, that's the thing. I don't want to get promoted. I want to get... If I'm going to get promoted, I want to do it of our own accord and actually do it properly and play an entire season. So let's see how we get on. But we've done really well all year. So let's see if we have actually made it through the semi-final stage there. I can't see what the results are, so we'll check after the first, well, after the second leg of the Gillingham game. But I don't really want to get promoted just yet. We beat them 2-1 and lost 2-1. So I don't know what happened. Oh my god, unbelievable. A game against Cheltenham. Cheltenham, for those that don't know, Forest Green and Cheltenham are massive, massive rivals. I, the reason I picked Forest Green is because I actually lived in that area of the country for a little while down in Gloucestershire. Uh, and Forest Green, I went to a few of their games with a mate of mine, really, really good lad. And the, he kind of got me into it. And, oh, this is tense. Could not come any more tense than this. So if we look at our youth academy and who we've actually got in there, we've got a couple of good Irish talents. So Jason Fitzpatrick looks quite decent at left back. Uh, Barry Murphy looks good in terms of goal. You always get really good goalies uh, in the youth department. Uh, Chan Bowen looks like a very decent option. He's 15 years old, centre back. Looks very decent physically already. Uh, technically needs a lot of work, but he'll get better. Uh, Niall Fitzpatrick, very similar actually. He looks like a very, very decent footballer. Uh, Connor Edwards, this is the guy who apparently wants to leave. And he's only rated at 54. I thought he'd be slightly better. 79 to 85. We have a lot of centre mids as well, so I'm not really that bothered about keeping him. Um, I'm not keeping bothered about keeping Brandon Edwards either, so we'll get rid of him. And we'll, we'll keep Connor Edwards, actually. We'll promote him because it's just extra bodies for next year, isn't it, at the end of the day, which is always helpful. Now, what do we do with the playoff then? I don't want to go up if we haven't won the league, if that makes any sense. So I'd rather lose it. What I will do is I won't play it with the youth squad. I'll play it with the... I've, as you can tell, I've got Ruben Reed in goal and we still managed to finish fourth. For those who don't know, Ruben Reed is a striker and we still managed to finish fourth. It's ridiculous. We're going to sim this Cheltenham game with the first team and see what happens. <clears throat> Obviously, this will be the last game for the majority of these players. As Cheltenham take the lead straight off the bat, this is going to hurt if you're a Forest Green fan. 2-0... Uh, we'll just skip ahead. I think 5 0. A fight. Oh, ooh, mm, I didn't like that. I didn't enjoy that. To any Forest Green fans out there, I'm so sorry. I promise we'll make up for it next year if we win the league, which I'm hoping that we will. So that brings season two to a close. I'm going to fast forward it. We're going to get to season three. And that will be where we start the actual next episode. Uh, so what I'm going to do is we're going to get to the start of season three. I'll run you through the team, introduce you to the players so you can get to have a little look at them before we get into the next episode. So I don't really know how I'm going to structure the episodes in terms of like the formatting. I think I'll come up with one or two ways. We either do it like a normal uh, FIFA career mode, like my Liverpool one is where I play every single game. I like to play every single game. I'm very much that kind of guy. I don't particularly like simming it too much because then it feels a bit like I haven't really earned it. Um, and also, uh, the problem against that, the problem with doing that, is that this is an RTG and we have a lot of games to get through, a lot of seasons to get through. Uh, so, you know, along with the football manager commitments and everything like that, I don't have a lot of time um, to do these. Yeah, I'm going to be bulk recording the majority of these at the weekend, etc, etc. So, it's going to be tough for me to carry it on. Um, so, I think maybe a bit of a hybrid. What I might do is I might play all the games, record the highlights, and we'll do some live comms, some sort of like highlight packages, depending on how we go. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section on how you'd like it to be set up. But I'll, I'll play the majority of them until we get used to like the players and stuff, and then from there we'll carry on. But this is a good introductory episode. I've never done anything like this, so sorry if it's a little bit all over the place. It's quite hard to figure out how to sort of like structure it. Um, but I, I quite like the idea of like me showing you how I got some of the players that we got to. Uh, and who are we going to earmark as real, real talents? 
there's obviously one in Hughes who's absolutely brilliant and he's going to be probably our star of the entire series but we shall see so here we are at the start of season 3 I've just spent the majority of our budget on getting the last kind of really good scout of a 4 star 4 star uh, and we're going to send him to we've done a lot of British stuff so I'm going to send him I'm going to send him abroad actually we don't have a lot of money but let's see if we can find the next Salah we'll send him to Egypt we get the next Mo Salah, I'll be absolutely delighted. So as you can tell, we've still got 525k, but we're not going to be buying any players in this series. All of them are going to be done via the Youth Academy. It is incredibly exciting. And before then, we kick off the next season, I'll show you what the team looks like. So this is probably the best way to do it, is that we'll run you through uh, the players here. We'll go to attributes, basically. Uh, Joel Phillips will be our goalie for the majority of it. Uh, 68 rated already at 17 years old. 6 foot 1, which is pretty alright for keeper, maybe a little bit low. Uh, as in, like maybe not as tall as he could be, but he's still very decent. Uh, we've got Barry Taylor, Scottish, six foot two, eighteen years old, only fifty nine rated. Not a lot of real high potential, I don't think, for him. Uh, then we're going to have Ethan Bell, who can play as left back and right back. Very excited to use him. Six foot, looks very, very decent, uh, but only sixty rated at the moment. Then you've got Barry Watson, who's a right back and a centre back. I think he'll probably end up being playing centre back uh, quite a lot alongside Harvey Richardson. Only fifty two rated, but this guy could be very, very decent. Can play a centre back, right back, and a central defensive midfielder. Uh, Dominic Robinson, a very high ceiling on this player if memory serves, but he's only 55 rated at the moment, but we've got a big tall bunch at the back, all over 6 foot, very exciting. Uh, same with Liam McDonald, he's going to be our kind of backup left back, Northern Irish, uh, very, very, oh actually he might even be better than Robinson. Those two will be fighting it out I think for that position, very interesting. Uh, I'm going to get rid of Joseph Mills, I'm actually going to, can I, I can't transfer him yet. Uh, Elliot Harris, he's just a bit of a kind of make way body bloke, I think. Six foot three, got a very, very tall team. Reese Price, now I said we were very tall. This guy's only five foot seven, but he's got three star skills and four star weak foot. Looks very, very decent. 80 dribbling, and the CDM is a bit strange. Ivan Foria, five foot five. The midfield is tiny compared to the defence. Uh, he's going to be our right winger. Spanish, 18 years old. Looks quite decent. Can play at cam and at left mid as well, which will be very helpful. Ah, now. Here is the boy, Ollie Hughes, 72 rated, CM, CDM, 19 years old, English, 5 foot 10, very decent. Uh, better going forward than he is going in defensively, which is weird considering he's a CDM, but his defensive work rate's quite low, so I think we have to kind of maybe play him in a free role. Uh, Billy Mason looks quite decent as well, 68 rated, he'll probably be in there alongside Hughes. Uh, again, 5 foot 10, 3 foot, uh, three foot skill. Uh, Three star skills, four star weak fit, very, very decent. Uh, got good work rates as well, medium going forward and high doing the defensive work, so he'll probably be more the defensive midfielder in comparison to Ollie. Dominic Hill looks very decent, can play anywhere in the middle of the park. Five for eight, so a little bit shorter than the other two, but not too bad. Yeah, physically absolutely weak though, he needs to get himself down the gym. Taylor Griffiths looks like a very decent player, 68 rated, 5 for 5 again quite small, 83 in dribbling, we've got a lot of good technical players I think in the middle of the park, but maybe physically lacking a little bit. Connor Edwards, he's the guy we signed at the end of the last season, not brilliant but he'll do. Billy Edwards, pretty much the same deal really, 16 years old, 4 star, 4 star which is very exciting, 53 years old and he is only 16 so he's still got a lot of potential and he's physically better than the majority of them. So. Sergio Alvarez, 3 star, 3 star, 5 foot 5, we've got a very tiny midfield, we need to sort that out really, Lloyd James will be going, uh, Jordan Simpson will be going, Sean Griffiths brought him in, can play left wing or right wing, any in those positions, 5 foot 9, that's quite decent, 76 pace at this level is actually not too bad, acceleration of 80, very excited to get use him as much as we can, Shane Johnson was one of the first guys that we brought in, 3 star, 3 star, 5 foot 9, Cam from Scotland, 64 rated, not too bad physically, a little bit make weight, so we're going to really struggle with the physicality, I think, of League 2. Not with this boy, though. Here, Mason Lee, centre forward, striker, 17 years old, 56 rated, 6 foot 1. He's a big, strong boy, as you can tell. 76 strength, 74 stamina. Looks very, very decent, but just not technically. Technically, he looks god awful. Finishing a 50 on your striker. Mmm. Brandon Barry, Northern Irish, uh, 57. Not, I was going to say 57 years old, 57 overall, 3 star, 3 star, 5 foot 9, looks very decent. I don't know anything about these players as much as you guys don't. There's a few I'm quite excited to use. This guy's one of them, Ed Turner. Uh, couldn't get a more British name if you tried. Uh, 58 overall, 3 star, 3 star, 6 foot 1. He's not massively quick, but he is quite strong. He has an aggression of 86, which I do find quite exciting. 
Uh, Chris Doidge is a forest green legend, but we won't be using him, which really upsets me because I love him. Saw him score many a goal in real life. Well done, mate. So that is it for this episode. What we will do is in the next one, we will crack on and get straight into the season. There's no need to do any of the pre-season friendlies. I will be playing on Legendary to start with. I haven't played any on Ultimate Difficulty just yet. Uh, I haven't played enough offline FIFA to kind of get used to it. So once, if we're finding it too easy, what I'll do is I'll up it to Ultimate and see how we progress. But to be fair, apart from Hughes, we're probably around about the kind of level that we should be at for this sort of uh, league. So we shall see how we go. Thank you so much for watching the episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope you're going to enjoy the series. I know I certainly am. It's nothing that I've done before. I've not really ever done it. You've career mode before, like even offline or off camera. So this is all new to me, but I hope you enjoy it. If you have enjoyed it, then please do like, share, subscribe. Make sure you come back for the next episode where we're actually going to play some games. Sorry, this one was a bit more of a kind of the build up, if you will, uh, to the big event. But I promise there'll be plenty of games to get through in future episodes. Thanks so much for watching. Until I see you again, stay cool.